Hello, friends of Sudoku, and welcome to an evil puzzle by Sudoku.com. It's been a while since I've played on that website. So without further ado, let's see how this one goes. It is an evil puzzle, so I fully expect it to be difficult. But I can see a line here and here, and that puts a line in this square like so. A one comes up here, that means one of these must be a one, and therefore one of these must be a one, and one of these must be a three. But there aren't a lot of givens, I have to admit. One of these must be a five, because we have a five coming up here and a five coming over here. So one of these must be a five, and this row is taken, so this must be a five. Four, six, and nine, we have a four, nine in the column, so a six must find a place in one of these two squares. And as therefore, a six must go here or here, but there's a six in the row, so this must be a six. And we are slowly filling up the right side of this grid. Let's hope that we can continue to do so. Now we got an eight here and here, and they block these three empty gray cells, so this must be an eight. And these two eights here now block here, here, and here, and the eight here blocks across, so this is an eight. Now, this eight blocks up here, and the two eights here block across, so this must be an eight in row three. And now one of these must be an eight, as well as one of these. But we're making a little progress. This one blocks here, this one blocks here, so this is a one, and now one of these must be a one. And we got a six here and a six here blocking here, 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 and here. We got this six blocking across. So this must be a six, making one of these six, right? There's only a single two in the grid and two sevens. But the two and the seven are, are both in the same row. So a two and a seven will have to go in two of these three cells here. And oh, I spot the two threes here. They put a three here, of course. So the two and a seven must go here and here, making these a four and a six. We have a six blocking here. So this must be the four and this must be the six, right? Yes. So where was I? The seven and the two here, and that puts a seven here, doesn't it? Because we have a seven blocking here, we have a ghost seven blocking over here, and the seven coming down here. So this must be a seven. And since this can't be a seven due to the seven here, this must be a seven. Now we got a seven blocking across here and a seven blocking down here and a seven coming up here. So one of these must be a seven. But more to the point, what is this? It must be a two. And that means that this can't be a two and this therefore must be a seven. These now must be a one and a seven, making these a two and a five, we have a two already in this column. So this is a five and this is a two. So far, so good. This is going a little more smoothly than I would have expected from an evil puzzle. But then again, it is sudoku.com and you never know what to expect. Besides, I should probably just keep quiet and wait and see what happens. Meanwhile, there's a nine here and here, blocking across here, and that makes this a nine. The nine blocks down here, and the nine blocks over here, that makes this a nine. 
And now one of these two squares must be a nine and one of these two must be a nine. One of these must be an eight and one of these must be an eight. That's not doing me a whole lot of good, is it? But this must be a one because no, it mustn't. This or this could be a one. And the two others must be a three and an eight. So three, 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 three. One of these is a three, so no. That is not going to work just yet. So we have to figure out something else. What about the top row? Uh, one, two, and a seven. It can't be a two. The two can't go here because of the two here. So this is a two. We also have a two here. So one of these must be a two. And the one, this can't be a one. So one of these must be a one. One and seven, right? So that is a no-go, I think, for the shoot up here. Now let's look at this row, five here, a three, four, seven, and a five. Five, seven here, this is a three, four. Seven, so one of these must be a seven. We have a seven here and a seven here. No, there's really nothing I can do about the sevens. That's um, that's a pity. But a five, yes, yes, yes. We've got a five blocking here and a five blocking up here and a five blocking across here, making this a five. Every little bit helps, doesn't it? Now, one of these must be a five. But where was I? One, two, three, four, five, and seven. Five and seven, that is a three, four. Three, seven, no. What about these here? A two, four, six, and a nine. Two, six, this, this is a four or nine. Six, nine is, well, let's see, this is an eight, right? So this could be anything. Let me see. No, I thought I could do something with the sixes, but I, I, I really can't. Uh, what about these three squares here? A two, four, and a nine. Well, this is a two, four. And then I will have to go here or here. So that is also a no-go, but about the sevens, the seven blocks up here and the seven blocks over here. So one of these is a seven, making one of these a seven. Can I, and one of these, is a seven and the other one is a one. So I'm pretty sure that a one is not going to go into any of these two squares. That means it will have to go here or here, but that is guesswork. And we do not do guesswork, do we? Where was I? I must down here somewhere. A one, two, three, four, and a nine. <laughs> ah, look at this. We got a nine here and we got a two here. This is got to be a four. That's how we do this. This is now a two and a nine. Let's see. And we have a nine here and a two and a nine. So let's see. It, it helps a little, but that's about all. It does give us a five in one of these cells here. And if these are two and nine, 
we still have an eight for one of these and for one of these, don't we? Yes. But the twos now are plenty, plentiful. So we got a two here and here. So one of these is a two. I think we discussed that. And the other digit is a nine, right? We got a two blocking over here. We got a two blocking over here. So one of these is a two. And we got two and blocking here. So we got a two here, 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 and here. This is a one seven. This can't be a one. A seven must go here or here. So this is a two or a seven. No, it's not a two or a seven because a seven must go here or here, here or here. Ah, yes, a one, two, three, four, five, six, not a seven, eight, nine, this is another two, look at this. Now, this is a two, of course, and this is a two, making this a nine. Let's see if this breaks the back of this camel. This is now a nine, and that makes this a nine, doesn't it? Yes, so this is now a one seven and this is a one seven. This is a one seven and this is guaranteed not a one and a seven. But one of these is a seven. What what else is missing here? A four here, here, or here, a six, hang on, a six here, and see one of these is a six. And that makes one of these a six, right? And one of these. So that is pretty useless. Seven, we had that. Uh, four, yes. Three. Three, three. Three, no, I can't do well, one of these must be a three, but that's not really helping me with these guys down here, is it? But we've got two digits missing here. One is a six, one is a four. <laughs> well, four and six, uh, that's all we can say. One of these must be a four. What are, what are the two others? They have to be a one and a five. So, the five must go here or here. And therefore, a five must go here or here. So a five here, so this is a one or a four, making this a one, four, and a six. And we have a one here, so this is a four or a six. One of these must be a one. One, three, and six. Aha, see here, one, three, and six missing, right? We got a three here and a six here. I must be blind. And that makes this not a one and this not a five. Therefore, it must be a four. And these are now ones and fives. And if these are ones and fives, then this can't be one. It must be seven and this must be one, right? And this must now be one. And this was a six, I seem to remember. And this is now a seven. So these two guys have to be a three and a four. And that will have to wait a little bit. These two have to be now a five and a seven. There's a seven here blocking here. So this is a five and this is a seven making this a seven. We remember that one of these had to be a seven, right? 
This last cell is a three now, making this a three. And we have a three down here. These two must be a four and a five. We have a five in the row, making this a four and this a five. This turns out to be, I think, not that evil a puzzle. After all, these have to be an eight and a one. We can't solve that. Yes, we can, because the two ones here put a one here and therefore here, and therefore this is an eight, making this an eight. This last digit has got to be a three. Three, and this must be the four that we were looking for earlier. That makes this a four, and this must be now a six. Four, 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 making this a four, and this must be a six, if memory serves. And the last digit here has got to be a, come on, three. I don't think this was a very evil puzzle. It's um, late in the day. I just had a big dinner and I'm mentally preparing myself for an hour of a video call with China. So I thought I would do one video before I start that in a few minutes. However, I hope that you enjoyed it, even if it was a little bit of a disappointment in terms of a difficulty. But you can't win them all. And it did require us to use a few mental brain cells. So thank you for watching and bye for now.